Hello, Go players. This is Sin Song Van Eitan in Europe. Uh, I'm making my Congress lecture series 2022, and this is the last one. Okay, how to improve? Okay, this lecture is the lecture that I show the uh, teaching method or my philosophy of Go. So at the end of the lecture, I need to explain about my online Go school. I would like to uh, inform you this in advance because my online Go school is the place where I address my you know, Go you know, methods and you know the philosophies in it. So I have to you know advertise in the end. Okay, so how to improve? That is the question that I receive a lot. Uh, many people because I'm you know full time Go teacher for over fifteen years in the Western country. So many people ask me, but it's not easy to answer by just you know one word. Okay, I just may say okay, play many games or solve life and these problems. But that's you know everyone can say. But I have all, my own theory how I can make people improve and enjoy this game even more. So I want to share that. Uh, first of all. Uh, if you don't know uh, who I am, I need to explain about my teaching uh, background that uh, I've been teaching since 2001. Uh, I was in Korea, you know, Yongbuseng, uh, Insei, Korean Insei. I couldn't become a pro. And then I started work as a dojang, dojo sub-teacher or making private lessons. But at the time, mostly young, you know, kids uh, that could, you know, strong, talented kids. And after that, I worked as a TV commentator. I went to the university, you know, go department and so on. And after that, uh, 2005, I came to Germany first time, Europe, to stay a year to start teaching the Western Go players. And I came back to Korea with the military service reason. And after two years, I came back to Europe again and stayed in many countries and make, you know, single group lessons and workshops, special training courses, I made it. So I made workshops in over 16 countries, 70 cities, about 120 times. And 2010, I opened the online Go school, which is called Yonggu Seng Dojang, which is Insei Dojo, okay? because I applied the Yonggu Seng, you know, Korean Insei system, and also, you know, we have a spirit that we study as serious as uh, Korean Insei, okay, like that. And then I made uh, American Brunch in 2014. So it's been quite many years. Uh -huh. So now, through the Yongbuseng Dojang program, uh, I have about 200 members uh, and it's been, you know, 1,200 1, participants so far. So I can say that I have a quite a game experience. I always say that I review about 3,000 and 3,500 games a year. So it means it's quite a lot. Uh, every day, 10 games review. So yeah, I am experienced. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, he was the, the top player in Korea about 60, uh, time is so fast, 60 years ago, he's already passed away. Uh, his name is Cho Namchol, uh, Nindam professional. One day he got the title and uh, the reporter asked him, okay, how to become strong, strong at Go like you? And you guess how he answered. He said, okay, is there a way? Then please let me know. Okay. It means that he also doesn't know. <laughs> so many strong players, maybe you have met, like professional player or strong amateurs, and you ask it, okay, how would you become that much stronger? Why well, they found a very good move, a very good move. And you ask it, okay, how did you find it? And normally, what do they say? They say, I, I just saw it. Is it. For instance, the divine move of Lisa Dole. If people ask, okay, oh, okay, how did you find it? And he said, okay, I thought that there was only one move. So why do you ask it? Because there's only one move anyway, like that. So. You know, it's not easy to explain you know, how to improve, but as a full-time Go teacher, prof professional Go teacher, I believe that I need to have my own theory and I want to share that. First, you want to 
become stronger in Go. So you want to have a better strength. Then we need to start with this question. What is the strength then? Uh, what is the strength in Go? I mean, you're strong because you win against like, you know, two Q, but lose against one down. So your first Q, something like that. It's not easy to describe yeah, what the strength is. So we need to check the elements of Go strengths. So elements of Go strengths, you know, you can easily imagine like, uh, like reading ability or knowledge, right? like knowledge here and reading. And what else? Uh, what do you need more? You just have more, you know, knowledge than your opponent and good reading ability. You can win, maybe, but you need some more, like territorial intuition. You need it, technical intuition. You need it. That is different from reading. Reading is the, you know, power. It's like uh, how to say you can read like ten moves, fifteen moves like this. But before that, you need to know where to focus. So who decided? Your technical intuition often decided. And you have good knowledge, but after that, you need to make points. How to make points? You need to keep thinking in you know, important places by territory or intuition, like that. And strategy, of course, you need it. Okay? And game experience. This is so undervalued, you know, underestimated, uh, but game experience is so important. And mind control. Uh, often you lose games because you just make one big mistake, right? Okay. Anyway. I said that seven uh, in this order. You see that it's a bit awkward that I don't make it on in the, I don't put the word in order, but I put it in a strange way like that. It's because I believe that mind control is like a head. Uh, you can just treat this as like human body. And then this is upper body, like your you know, arms or hands. So you need to have good technical intuition to grab the right thing. And you need to have the right strategy. Okay? This is your like upper body. And this is your bottom body. You need to have strong bottom body to make a big power. Uh, game experience and reading. That is like, you know, like a base. Uh, you need to have this as you are like a bottom body. Okay? More technical on the top, but here more like power issue. What about knowledge and territory then? This is like a ground. Uh, if you're standing on the, you know, hard ground or you are standing on the trampoline, then let's say you make a punch uh, on, on the trampoline, trampoline or hard ground, you would have different power. Is it? So if you have a good knowledge and territory and intuition, you have a very good base. Uh, and then nice reading and game experience generate the power. And technical intuition and strategy makes good, you know, skills. And mind control, you need, you need to have head to control all of this. Okay. So we can check some details about, you know, that elements of strength. Uh, knowledge is, you know, pattern and opening formation, juseki, fuseki, right? But also there are some more about that. The typical chimego or stone shapes. For instance, uh, look at this case. Why play this shoulder? It? How should black react it? When you are asked this question, you may think that, oh, maybe I should answer, or oh, maybe I can cover, or, you know, pin some. You may check like this, or maybe you think that it is not important, so oh, middle is getting bigger, so maybe I should do something for the middle, or should I just save, you know, clearly with, and take points. You can check, is it? Look at the whole board. Can you find something? This area, black must answer, because if black doesn't answer, or why shouldn't play? Because why can jump? If I jump, play it to blow, then why can play this one and attach? Then this form is the dead form. That black school is dead. So this kind of life and death is not about uh, life and death. It is about knowledge. If you already know this shape, then you can detect it and go. Otherwise not. And here as well, look at this case. Why says that, okay, I think I can do something. So why did I touch it? Why peeped? Why played Hane? And then blocked it. Ah, it looks like can Save the group inside. Is it? Or is it possible? Is, it, is there a way that um, I can kill this wise group? If you have a good life and death knowledge, you can. For instance, if I give you the right answer, 
then you say yes, of course. But that kind of stuff doesn't come you know, in the right timing, right? Uh, in the game. Black plays hard and just dance on. Then it is that. Even if white exchanges, exchanges, this is the famous 2-2-2 two, two, two shape. Because of that, you know, uh, fixed shape. We can easily recognize that, oh, why is that? If black doesn't know this and feel in a hurry and black gonna play this kind of stuff and we'll give the chance for white to save it. Okay, like, like this. Okay, so this is knowledge. And what about this? Hmm? In this position, white's turn, how should white save this weakness? If you connect, then it means that you know this shape. This is the better one. Well, this one is better because it is much lighter. Is it? So that kind of stuff is like shape knowledge. Okay. So knowledge is uh, one important part of the strength. And reading. Uh, reading is not just one reading. Reading, imagination, intuition, accuracy. There is a different sections. Uh, for instance, look at this case. Black came here. Ah, oh, okay. That white group is weak. How would you handle this as white? Maybe your first idea is answer. That, you know, white needed. Black plays here and white jumps like this. But in fact, black's this one is a mistake. Because white can cut and go down. Okay. White first need to detect this. Oh, maybe instead of this, I could do this. But oh, if, I, if I play here, we can just follow with the number like this, white, uh, white one, black two, white three. Oh, then black can cut. Is it after cut? Is it working or not? Okay. For white, it is working because white can play four, uh, five, and black need an answer, and white can connect. Then black cannot play this set, uh, eight because white can capture. Can you see what it is? One, two, three, four, and here. So. Black should, uh -huh. uh, white should be able to notice that uh, black cannot play this one uh, because it is self atari Even after this, cannot play this because it is self atari So cannot do this, then white can kill like that. So this one, to detect this, uh, if someone says that, okay, look at this area, then you can find. But when black plays here, if you do not even look but try to save this, you cannot find it. So it is your intuition. Your reading intuition will detect it. Oh, maybe there's something like this. Okay. So this is reading intuition. And this one, black cut. Uh, how should white handle? In this case, white went down and black blocked it. Is there a way to kill this black screw? Then, this is reading imagination ability. White can Atari, throw in and connect. Then blank it to connect. Then white Atari, push once and cover. Then even if black like, push, push, and try to go out with Atari, why can Hane, Atari, connect uh, like this? Then black is dead. Can you read it? Uh, so this is reading more than 20 moves. Uh, why Atari, throw in and connect, black need to connect, Atari, push and cover. Black cannot play this because it is self-Atari. Uh, and black push, therefore, and you know, Atari, 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 everything. A white just answers, and then, oh, black is in trouble. So what, what can we? Okay. So this one, you already checked the result, and now try to read it uh, with your eye. Okay. This is reading imagination ability. So reading imagination ability, reading, uh, you know, intuition, accuracy. Accuracy is like easy life and death, but, you know, how, how much, how many percentage you can make it. Okay, like that. And territory intuition to, to be able to pick the important point moves and also counting and balance ability is connected to this. And technical intuition is to find the right moment to do the tech, to technical action to play sharp moves and choke, you know, weaving, uh, squeezing, you know. There are many uh, technical skills uh, whether you have enough uh, intuition to detect, that is, it is. And strategy, okay. Mm -hmm. And mind control, uh, mind control that you remove your bad habits and keep the your keep your concentration ability. I mean, that you stay concentrate till the end of the game and control the game and tempo and the game experience. 
So why is the game experience important? Now we can talk about this. Uh, look at this case. Flex group is weak. Wise turn. How would you come? This is the proper way. This one or this one. I think many of you uh, treat this as like proper way because that one, you know, that position. If I doesn't answer, then later I can play this one. You know, we learned that this is the right move, right? But in this case, why can go one line more? Because if I play like this, black may attach or play like this and easily look for saving. Okay. This one also black can attach and look for saving. So I can come here and say that, okay, if I play this and here, then you have no living possibility, right? So this is the practical move. That's the proper move. So when you play a game of Go, uh, sometimes you need to follow the situation, principle and code. Now, principle, Principle is like a, how to say, uh, like a pattern. Okay, in, in this position to play this one or this one, it's like a pattern. Uh, there are some you know code that you need to follow, right? But sometimes you need to follow the situation. If you follow more the situation, it means that your game is more practical, and that practical idea comes from the game experience. So here, why place this? And what is the next move? You imagine this one, or maybe you go down, right? If you go down, black pushes center because the connection is thin. Why need an answer? Black can escape. If I place here, black this one is center, so black can escape. So what can be the practical idea here? To you know, let black, you know, black can still move it, but to make it more difficult for black to move. The practical move is this one. Normally you don't play like that. Is it? What's that? It's the bad shape. But with this, push is in center. After here, one can cover. Is it? Here and one can cover. So that black group is much weaker than the case that black can use this as center. Right? So this is the practical move. You don't follow the code or principle, but you follow the situation. Okay? That is the power of the, you know, game experience, uh, play many games, then you will adapt your moves to the game condition, not following only the principle. Okay, so second, mm -hmm. so we got to know the elements of Go's strength. What, what the strength uh, of Go, then you can say that. Yeah. Maybe you can add some or remove it. Uh -huh. So these five parts you can learn by game reviews and of course uh, game experience only by the serious games and then uh, lectures you can learn this and reading you cannot learn from teachers you need to do it yourself okay it's not possible to make your reading ability improve uh, reading intuition possible but reading imagination ability that is often the student's job okay so this is an ideal position, okay? So you're good at all parts like that. So the second question, okay, I'm 5Q and my friend has the same rank as well, but why do we have so different style of play? Uh, you know, you have that situation, you're the point collector, but your friend is like a big fighter, but still, you know, you're about the same strengths, 5Q or 3Q, one down, like that. It's because um, there is a, personality in this game of Go. Uh, but, you know, 100 players, of course, 100 personality, but I can categorize uh, when I see Go players and I can separate them as like seven different, you know, types. Uh, the first, uh, the Go players are divided by two, uh, two different, you know, type of Go players, which is technical territorial type and technical type. Okay. You must be a te territorial type or technical type for now. Okay. And the territorial type has three different you know, characters and technical type as well. So philosopher type in a territorial you know, type. Territorial is also like theoretical. Okay. So philosopher and honor student that you follow uh, the teacher's word and politician type and both, uh, technical type both, and detective, you know, and street fighter. And there's one, Don Quixote. You know, Don Quixote is a novel, 
that this guy doesn't like to, you know, he's living in his own world, right? So there are some Go players who has a big, you know, difference uh, between, you know, games, game quality or style of play like that, because it is depending on their uh, condition and the lack of game experience. Okay? Like a um, three-year-old boy, does three-year-old boy has a typical character? Maybe, but it's not really you know strong character like uh, compared to the 30 years old or 60 years old person. Then that guy would have a much stronger personality than three years old boy, right? So low game experience makes that kind of you know situation. But anyway, there are different types. There is a separate lecture, the seven types of Go players. I think you may find it in YouTube because uh, one. I made one lecture, uh, the live lecture, on-site lecture, and uh, there was uh, one guy filming and then uploaded. it. Anyway, so there are different types. So first, you need to know what type of player you are. Okay. So philosophy type, uh, very good at the strategy and knowledge and territory, but other parts are weak. And honor student type is like that. The bottom area is strong, but not uh, the technical part and mind control part. And politician type, okay? Politician type player is good at negotiation, okay? trying to find the situation in a territorial way. Like, you know, politician, politician, they don't uh, say something yes or no, because when they say, you know, yes to some subject, and it may come as like a bad way, you know, negative in you know, a way. So that's why they often say, Nothing. Okay. Do you do you like A? Then politician says that ah oh, maybe I like A, but in some case no, and like this, you know. So don't say yes or no clearly. Uh, both type player you know, who likes to uh, give a task to opponent and take profit from the task. And detective type, they are very good at the technical part and reading, so they only focus on the local part. You know, digging. You know, they are finding evidence. Uh, and crime scene, so they like the blood. They like bloody games. And street fighter, uh, street fighter type players, they just fight, cut first and think later, which is okay. But they need to have a good base, uh, otherwise, not easy to make a stable wins. Okay. And don't kill the type. Uh, okay, the level, the basically the ability isn't bad, but. There's no mind control and game experience. But you see that these are not the, not the best. I mean, what's the best here? Uh, can you find any the best option? Maybe this one and this one has a higher, you know, what is it, uh, ability. Uh, but still, it's not complete. Okay? So there, there's no best one. It's just all different. Uh, he's good at this part. He's good at this part. He's good at this part like that. But... Uh, what's the best then? The ideal position is the best, but how can you make it? If you are here, then you need to maybe bring it to like this. Okay. There is a way, uh -huh, but okay, we will explain this. I will explain this later. So style of play, why is it important? Uh, so here's the ranking system. Do you believe this ranking system that when you are beginner, you start maybe from 18Q, you start from maybe 25Q, doesn't matter. Do you think that you passed all these Qs? I mean, you, you were 15Q and then you become 14, 13, 12? I don't think so. I'm sure that you guys jumped. You were the beginner, but at some point you were 15Q. And then you started and played a lot, and then one day you become 10Q. You did not pass all this 14, 13, 12. And then one day, okay, you're five Q. One day you're first Q, something like that. Okay. It's getting you know more difficult to pass this, you know, each level. But anyway, still, uh, you don't pass all this stage, right? I believe that go strength until the pro level, it's separated by that you know nine levels, like nine stage, yeah. stage. So there are some stage, then you, you pass the stage to become a better Go player. The first is beginner, of course, and then very low Q and low Q. Uh, very low Q, they are unstable, but 
password to finish games. And uh, low queue players, they need more knowledge and experience. And mid queue, more organized games and reliable games come. And high queue players, they have uh, much better stable games and good reading comes. And then low down players, they master the basic and the general skills, but cannot go more. But from the mid down level, they can play very organized way and the, the power comes. And uh, high down level, they, they do well. Okay? Um, and then the pro level comes. Okay? So like this, I believe that you guys have like nine stage uh, until pro. So some are staying in the third stage, some are staying on the sixth stage like this. But uh, it doesn't mean that you pass all the, the levels, uh, all that 18Q, 17Q, and 7Q, 6Q, 5Q like this. You need to pass the stage. If you pass the stage, you have an open road that you can go, you know, uh, you can just run straight to become like, you know, strong level, like three, four levels stronger. And then you stop again. And if you uh, pass the stage, then you have open road again to go up like two, three levels again, and then stop like this. So that's why you did not pass all the stage and all the, um, the levels, 18Q, 17Q, 16Q, like this, but you just had a one boom to move up like three Q or five levels like that. Okay, that stage, that stage is very important. Of course, the personally, there will be a difference, maybe 6Q to 3Q, or maybe uh, 1Q to 3 down, like this. But uh, if you stuck in one level for a long time, it it is because you couldn't pass the stage. Uh, so how to pass the stage? That is the, the question. Um, when you have a, uh, when you're stuck in one level, then maybe it's because you have a lack of abilities. Okay? Many people think that this is the reason why they cannot become stronger. Okay? I need to have more better reading ability. I need to have better knowledge. I need to have better technical intuition like that. Which is true, but not entire you know reason. The second is wrong approach. This is the one that I detect most. When I review games, I don't find this. I mean, I find this, of course, but not more than this. And when the critical uh, mistake comes, then it's not because of this. This, this makes the critical mistake. That's why you lose games. So here's the thing, how to overcome then? So when, uh -huh, okay. when you have this kind of situation at the bottom or middle of the stage, and here wrong approach comes at the top of each stage. So it's a bit difficult to explain. So let me explain in this way. There is one player, player one, who passed the third stage and now he got the, the force, he get into the fourth stage and he need to you know, feed up the energy pack. And the player two, he passed the third stage. Uh, he couldn't pass the third stage because he got the full battery of the third stage. But again, again, so this guy stay long. I said, so this guy, uh, he wants to become better. Then what does he need? It? He needs uh, more ability. Yeah. He needs to fill up the abilities, knowledge and you know, reading ability or technical ability, everything then he would have chance to become stronger. If it is, let's say, uh, 10Q, then 9Q, 8Q, 7Q, he can go. But here, 10Q, 10Q, 10Q cannot become stronger because to fill up more, liberty, uh, more uh, abilities, like taking more you know, reading ability or taking more knowledge, it's not possible to improve because they have a problem of the wrong approach. Okay. So in this situation, you need to have a new battery pack. If you get the new battery pack, you get a chance to fill up the energy there. Okay. This is the idea that I have it. That's what I believe in. And when you want to change, uh, when you want to have a new battery pack, when you want to jump over the next stage, then you need to have the new battery pack and you need to change the style of play. So why you stuck in one level for a long time? Because you just play in the same way with the same approach. Okay. 
different games you face, but you just make the same approach. So you want to change your, you don't have good body, let's say. So you want to have like a nice six pack. You want to have very nice you know, muscle in your body. But you wake up at eight and you just sit in front of the computer and then, you know, do work and only in front of the computer. And then you eat and then don't do exercise and then, you know, you sleep and then do it again. So if you do this, then how can you get the muscle? How can you get the healthy body? You cannot. But if you do the same approach, you wake up at the late uh, morning and just stand, you know, set, sit in, the, in front of the uh, computer and don't do exercise, you cannot. Then you need to change. If you change your day, so you go outside and run, then maybe you have a chance to, to get it. But many people, they just do the same thing because we are the slave of habit. We just like to do the thing that we used to do, to feel familiar to do. So you just do it in the same way. So of course cannot improve. But it is possible to improve if you already have a new battery pack. New battery pack, it means that you found a new way already. So with that new way, you just fill up the uh, abilities, then you can do it. But if you don't have the new battery pack, then you cannot improve. So in this, uh, the player two situation, that okay, I study Go, I get, uh, you know, I solve life and this problems, I play many games, but why am I staying on the same line? Why I cannot improve? It's because you have the same approach in your games. So you need to change the style of play. So it is very important that you should know what the element of strength. So you get to know what's your strong point and weak point. And after you get to know your strong and weak point, you have yeah, you should know your style of play. So after you get to know your style of play, you need to change your style of play. And eventually, if you change your style of play, you get a chance to improve. That's what I believe in. So you need that. Uh, how to change the style of play? That is so difficult. Uh, you should not play like you. And you should not play a move that you feel familiar with. Okay. Just like, okay, I usually play this and I play that. Or I usually, you know, negotiate and I negotiate. Then you cannot improve. So you need to try something new. So, uh, for instance, when you play a game of Go, then you play against your opponent, right? But in fact, you are not playing against your opponent. You are fighting and you are playing against yourself. That you always face the moment that you can just find an easy way familiar way, or maybe something unusual, then you need to go. If you're the, the calm type, territorial type player, then you can easily find the territorial way to negotiate and just set things down. Then in that moment, you need to try something new. Maybe you can get into your opponent's area and start fighting. But of course, it is so you know, uncomfortable, so people don't do it. And the aggressive type players, they think that, oh, I can cut and kill. So I want to cut. But then at that moment, you should not cut and just take it easy. Okay, I will just uh, stay back and collect points. Then you can uh, get the new battery pack. But mostly people don't do. People just follow their instinct. But then it is not easy. So we checked this one. Okay. What was the best one? There's no best one. Idea of position is the best one, but you cannot make it, right? When I see this kind of figures, then I feel that it is like this. You know, it's like a street fighter type player who is very good at this part, but weak at other part. So it's not the ideal shape. Ideal shape is this one. Right? And what about this? This is also, you know, not the right shape. Right? Uh, it's the philosopher type. Too many ideas, too many ideas, but you know, it doesn't mean that it is right. Okay? So you need to make it right, uh, the right balanced position, but it's not easy to do. Okay, I have a, this position, I need to reduce my like muscle, not easy. Okay? If you already have it, then to reduce muscle, not easy. Or that fashion, you need to make something in a normal, 
not easy. So the best thing is this one. Taking all the different uh, style of place. Okay? So once you become a lot of time, and then you change to the honor student, change to politician, and change to both detective and street fighter. So if you pass all this stage, all this you know, style of play, then later you will have this you know, position, which is very close to the perfection. For instance, me, I was the extreme you know, point collector. And then I started fighting, and I become like a street uh, fighter. And I got to know that, oh, it's quite risky. So I try to reduce uh, the, the power. So I become like detective type player. And then I thought that, okay, it is better to do it in a territorial way. And I become, you know, the politician type player. Before I was pretty an honest student type player that I just follow what I learned. And then now I'm a boss type player like this. So if I pass this, then later I can have everything. Okay. It's like a different personality you have it. So when you face a person, then you should treat, uh, you should you know, act like boss. And when you face another person, person B, then maybe you should uh, act like all the students. Okay. And when you face the person C, then you can you know, you know, act like the street fighter. Like this, you have a different roles in family or work or other social party. You have a different role like that. Then you can sometimes become a very calm person, sometimes a very exciting person, maybe sometimes a very you know aggressive person like that. So if you have everything, then you would know how you can handle every single situation. When you face street fighter person, how would you handle it? Uh, when you face that, you know, philosopher type players, how would you handle it? You would know if you become all that, uh, the type of players. So it is very important. Each time when you change your style of play, you improve. But people cannot change because people don't want to change. Why they don't want to change? Because they feel so familiar, comfortable to stay in their way. That's why. So when I face people, then I ask them, okay, so you have a, for instance, you have a beer, but you said that you want to have wine, then please empty your glass, then I can give you the wine. Then that guy says that, no, I, I don't want to, you know, throw my beer away, because then I would have nothing in some, in a moment. So I want to hold my beer, so give me the wine. But I, I said that you have only one glass, so... You need to empty, yeah, empty your glass. Otherwise, I, I should pour, you know, wine over the, the beer, which must be bad. But still, people cannot lose it. So that is so important. Uh, you should try to change uh, and try something different. If so, you would have chance to get the new battery pack. You can get into the new stage with a different approach. So I always uh, convince people to do it, uh, to change their style of play. Because I have experience that each time when I change my style of play, I become a better Go player. Okay, therefore, uh, if you join my online Go school, then you play games. Uh, you play 15 games in three months and take nine lectures. And that 15 games, I uh, make the, all the you know, personalized you know, game commentaries, game reviews. And after that, after one season, I share this personal goal report. Um, the personal goal report is the, the one that I you know, analyze each player. So this guy, for instance, is too done, and he's a bit calm, you know, territorial type player from the balanced one. So he needs to be more aggressive. He need to be more active. He's good at the opening part and the intuition, territorial intuition, but relatively weak at the technical part. And very weak at the game experience like this. So I give the study plan. If you have 100 of time, you need to play 40%, but 30% for Chimego and 30% for the local technique lesson, you know, they, he need to watch. Because he's weak at that part, you need to focus on the technical and reading part and give some personal advice like that. So with this, I believe that uh, 
the player can discover their style of play, and later they try to change their style of play. Uh, if you are improving, then you need to focus on your strong part because your strong part lead you become stronger. But when you stop, uh, I'm too done, but you know, for 10 years, I cannot become three done. Then it means that you need to focus on your weak part to remove that weak part. Then you can become, you can uh, overcome uh, and uh, get, the, get into the new stage. But even if you overcome your weak part, you cannot enter it. You need to get a ticket. And you can only get a ticket when you change your style of play. Okay. So to discover one's you know, style of play and try to overcome this uh, with uh, certain cases in your real games, and uh, the game must be a serious you know, game, then I believe that that is the way to improve Go. So simple, how to improve? Then first get to know your strong and weak points and discover uh, therefore, discover your style of play and overcome your style of play. Uh, it means that you need to change your style of play. Okay? So jump to the next stage and uh, with the better understanding of this game, you can enjoy uh, the game even more. Okay? That is the way. So my online go school uh, has two different you know, uh, leagues, uh, American League and European League. So American League, if we go, then it runs in the evening at 8 p.m. EDT, and the European one, uh, the 8 p.m. you know Central European time, you play, and at 10 p.m. the teacher comes and then uh, review your games. So if you see the schedule, okay, now we are in the uh, breaking season period. This one. Okay. And after that, the new season begins in September, 12th of September. So you see that you join the league and then uh, the League A, League B, uh, group, group A, Group B, Group C plays in each you know, different days. So you join the league and you play five games a month, uh, four in a weekdays and one in the weekend. Okay. The schedule, the fixed schedule comes later. And after that, the two people stay, uh, two people, you know, goes up, top two goes up and the uh, middle two stay and the bottom two goes down. So you face the new player uh, who is around your level. So play more competitive game. And after you play, uh, you see that you can uh, write uh, the result and then lectures and reviews will be recorded. So it will be viewable anytime. So if 10 p.m. is too late, then you can uh, just go sleep and later check the review video. If I don't cover your game, then later I make it with the additional review. Additional review is offline format video, so you can still watch your game review. And there will be uh, this week's highlight, which is the summary of each week's most important part of games, and I share it. And lectures, this kind of lectures that I Sure, you can find it. Uh, there is a lecture library. Uh, for instance, this lecture, I made it, uh, which is how to improve. How to improve and enjoy the uh, goal uh, even more in Yongbu Seng Dojang. That was the, the last season lecture that I made it in January like that. So after having this program, three months, 15 games, then you get the report. And after two more seasons, you get the second report. And after three seasons, which is year, every year, you get the third and fourth report. So I can guide you whether you are trying to overcome your style of play or you are still, uh, or you still stop and, you know, try to be you know, just easy. Okay. So that is the way. So let's go back to the topic, how to improve. Uh, first, you need to know your style of play and try to uh, overcome that. So don't fight against your opponent, but you need to fight against yourself to overcome it. Then I believe that you will enjoy this game more. This game of Go, especially, you know more, then you can see more things. So that is more interesting. 
So I would like to let you know an uh, interesting part of Go. So yeah, if you are interested in taking a lesson with me, then please come to my website. It would be great. OK, so this is the last lecture of my Congress lecture series. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.